What's up, Rockstar? Welcome to class. We have an amazing and super strong upper body workout for us today. Uh, we are going to be using resistance objects. So if you want to grab dumbbells, if you don't have dumbbells, you can use water bottles, gallon jugs, weighted objects, anything you've got around the house, you can use that. We're just trying to look for some added resistance in these movements. And then if you have an elevated surface and you need to modify something like a down dog or a plank position, you can grab that as well. Um, definitely make sure you have some water nearby and let's get strong together. So we're going to warm up uh, the whole body with this first move. It's going to get everything lit up, everything activated, and we're going to get strong. So we're going to start in a tall plank. If you want to do this on your elevated surface, that's a great way to get just moving. Um, otherwise, you can do this on the ground. We're going to start in that tall plank position and we're going to push ourselves back into a down dog, driving that head between those biceps and then coming back to that tall plank, shoulders right over top of the wrists and then push back. Good, and come forward. Now we're gonna advance this by reaching for our toe or our shin. We're gonna reach down, pushing away from that elevated surface and then switch arms. Good, so we're really reaching back, pushing back through that upper body, bracing through the core, coming back into that tall plank, Make sure you get fully into that tall plank. Don't just stop here. Let's get back into that tall plank and press. Let's go for five more seconds. Really reach, stretch through that chest, drive through those shoulders and rest. Awesome job. Okay, we're gonna get moving with some bicep curls. So grab those weighted objects. I'm gonna start light, I might increase. Roll those shoulder blades down and back. We're gonna do hammer curls. So just standing with your core engaged, pelvis tucked. We're gonna just bring that weight all the way up to our shoulder in that hammer position and right back down and alternate. Good. Alternating one after the other. We're gonna go eight to 12 each way. Really control this on the way down. Sometimes we have two heavy weights. We just let that weight drop. We really wanna get that movement on the way down, that negative movement. That's really where we're gonna get that time under tension and tear those muscle fibers to build them back even stronger. Good. Control each and every one of these. Just keeping those palms facing the midline of our body. Good work, eight to 12. If you have a heavier weighted object, you might go for that eight range. Um, otherwise, if you have a lighter weight, you might be able to pull out 12. I'm gonna go for two more on each side. I'm just warming up with this lighter weight. I'll probably increase for that next round. And rest. Good, okay. We're gonna come down to the ground for some chest presses and chest flies. I have to kind of go a little bit diagonal so I don't hit a hole in my wall. So we're gonna come down to the ground, hold those weighted objects right over top of your chest. Before we even move our arms, I want you to press that lower back in towards the floor, activate that blueberry spine, and then we're gonna bring our arms straight down like we would for a push up, and come down for a chest press and press back up. Now we're gonna rotate those palms facing each other and open those arms up for a chest fly. Squeeze those arms back together, that's one. We're gonna go for eight to 12. Doing each one of those movements is one rep. So we're gonna go that chest press once those triceps hit the floor. We powerfully press back up. And then for that fly, we really wanna open that chest up, keep those shoulder blades down. If you feel this in your shoulders or feel any pulling in your biceps, Pull those elbows a little bit down. So we're almost going diagonal at like a 45 degree angle rather than straight out in a T position. We really wanna squeeze those pecs as we pull those weights back together. Awesome job, keep that blueberry spine engaged. Try not to arch that back. I'm gonna go for one more press and one more fly. Awesome job. We're gonna keep one of those weighted objects if they're really light, you can use both of them. I'm just gonna hold my weight like this. And then from here, again, blueberry spine, we're gonna do a lat pullover. So we're gonna just drop that weight, stretching those lats, our back muscles by those shoulder blades, and then pull that weight back. So keeping that lower back pressed down, really drop that weight all the way as far as you can without straining, and then squeeze those lats to pull that weight back up. Let that weight, or let the power come from those lats, not just pulling with the dumbbell. We wanna really squeeze those shoulder blades towards those hip bones and use that back muscle to pull it back to our center. Awesome job, same thing here, eight to 12. 
Good. It's so important that you keep your lower back down. If we start to arch that back, we're gonna lose that lat engagement. So really tilt that pelvis, tuck those hips. Good, I'm gonna go for one more here. And rest. Awesome job. Okay, you can roll on up. We're gonna come back into that down dog to toe touch. Um, if you wanna stick with that elevated surface, you're welcome to do that. Otherwise, I'm gonna show you on the ground. Same thing, 30 to 45 seconds. Move that out of the way. Okay, let's start in that tall plank position. Belly button is sucked in, core is engaged, shoulders are right over top of our wrists. We're gonna press back into that down dog and tap that shin or that toe, depending on your range of motion and your flexibility. Good. We really wanna push back, keep those legs straight, to almost reach that head through those biceps, and then back to center. Good. Pushing back, opposite hand to opposite foot. As we come forward, make sure that hip's dropping, ending in that tall plank, keep that core engaged. So strong. As we come back to center, tuck that pelvis, try not to have that back arch, tuck that pelvis. Good. Okay, give me one more on each side. And rest. So good. Whew. Okay, back to those alternating hammer curls. I'm gonna increase my weight for this round. Bend those knees, pick up those weights. Okay, shoulder blades down and back. Tuck that pelvis, engage that core, and alternate that curl. Control that descent. We want that concentric and eccentric motion giving it the best we can in both ranges. Good job. Just keep breathing through this. Keep those elbows back. Sometimes we have a tendency to pull that elbow forward. We wanna keep it nice and strong. Upper arm's not really moving, just the lower arm. Good. Oh my word, this heavier weight is really doing the job for me. I'm gonna go for two more here. And last set, good work and rest. Great job. Okay, come on down to the ground. We have that chest press to chest fly. So let's get those weighted objects up. With that chest press, we're kind of coming down at a 45 degree angle. So those palms are almost facing, almost facing each other, but just at about 45 degrees. Okay, so press that lower back in. Control that core, and let's come down nice and slow and controlled, powerful up. Rotate those wrists, open up for that fly, squeeze those pecs together, good. So strong. You're gonna have a slight bend in that elbow on this fly. Not so much, not, it's not so straight that your palms are coming all the way to the ground, or the back of the hands are coming all the way to the ground, but we're not so bent that those dumbbells are staying way up in the air. So a happy medium there. You'll feel that stretch in those pecs, and then we're gonna contract and bring them back together. Good work. Open, 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 squeeze back together. I'm gonna go for two more here, each direction. So strong. Last one for me. If you have a couple more, finish those up and rest. Okay, I'm gonna drop one, I'm gonna keep that other weight. Again, if you have lighter weights and you wanna use two weights, you can do that. So those lat pullovers, same idea. We gotta, we're gonna tilt that pelvis, tuck that hip, tuck those hips, and drop. Really stretch those lats, and then use those lats to pull back up. So strong. Like we're pinching the base of our shoulder blades, towards our hip bones. Keep those elbows pointing forward. Awesome job. Oh my gosh, I love this one. It's such a stretch and a strength move. Really reach and then powerfully pull. Let's go a little bit slower on the descent. Good, and pull. Let's go for two more here. Really reach, stretch, stretch, stretch. Pull, last one here. And, Rest. Awesome work.
Okay, let's grab some water. Let's shake out those arms and we'll go for our third superset of that. I'm feeling strong. Who says you can't get sweaty with some strength training, right? Okay, last set of this and then we'll move on to our second little circuit superset situation. Okay, down dog to toe touch. I want you to really hold these, hold these movements for a little bit longer. Sometimes when you rush through it, just because we don't want to hold that motion or hold that static movement, we really want to go slow through this. Nice, solid, slow quality movements. Okay, we are going to start in 10 seconds. Let's get into that starting position. Okay, tall plank. Ready? And go pushing back, reaching for that toe or shin, and then bringing those hips back into that tall plank. Good. Let's go for the full 45 here. Good. Don't go much faster than me. We really want to work on that time under tension, controlling those movements, and working on those stabilizers. You should feel your core nice and active in this as well. Ending with those shoulders right over top of the wrists. Tucking that pelvis. Okay, we've got five seconds left. Hang in there. These are flying by, and I'm so grateful. And rest. Good. Shake up those arms. We are on to our last set of hammer curls. So let's grab those weights. Bend those knees, stand it up as usual. Okay, let's get it. Eight to 12, rolling those shoulder blades down, tuck that pelvis and curl. Keep those arms right next to our body. Elbows tucked in, slow and controlled. From the side, we're just coming straight up and straight back down. Good, just feel those muscles burning and loving this. Keep that chest up as we start to get fatigued. We might want to round forward, but keep that chest nice and open. I'm gonna go for three more each way. Oh my gosh. I think this is the perfect weight for me because these last two to three are burning. Last one for me. Finish it out if you have a few more. Amazing work. And let's shake out those biceps. If your biceps are tight and they feel like they're fatiguing, let's just stretch the front of that, that arm. It's gonna stretch all the way into the bicep. Stretch, good, and stretch. Okay, last set of chest presses to chest flies. Let's roll on back. I'm gonna go diagonal again. Okay, are we ready? Let's go, chest press. Chest fly. I know these chest flies are the more challenging out of the two. Our weight is going to be dictated by how much we can fly. That's okay. We want to just slow it down on that press to really get that time under tension, which seems to be the focus of our day to day. Really stretch, bring those back together. And squeeze back together. Good. Eight to 10 here. Make these really good. If you weren't feeling it or if you feel like your weights are too light, just slow it down. Good. Squeeze back together. Reset that core. So press that lower back in. We're going to inhale at the top and exhale as we press or as we squeeze together on that fly. Good. I've got one more each way. Press and fly. So good. Drop one of those weights. We're going to come into that lat pullover. Same thing as usual. You know the drill. Press that lower back in, blueberry spine. Extend. Shoulders are right underneath those wrists. And let's drop. Keep those lats engaged. Try not to shrug the shoulders and pull back together. If you feel like your shoulders are coming up towards your ears, that means we're using our shoulders and not activating our lats. So really pull those down. Keep those shoulders away from those ears and pull back together. Good. Woo! I'm gonna have strong 
lats after this. So good. Give you three more. Good. Last one. Let's go really slow on the way down. Really stretch, 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 and pull back together. Amazing job. Okay. Awesome job. I don't know about you, but my arms are nice and warm for the second superset. Okay, let's get into it. We're going to give our muscular strength a little break, and we're going to go into some jack punches. If you have light weights, or even water bottles, maybe even a book, um, you can do these jack punches with some weights. I'm just going to do them body weight, but you have that option. So we're going to just do jack punches. If you have impact issues, we'll go low impact. I'll show you all the different variations and let's go. So you can tap out and punch straight. We just really want to engage that core and punch back and forth. We're going to go 30 to 45 seconds. If you've got it in you, you can just do that jack, just like a normal jumping jack and punch. The thing I want you to focus on again is that core. We're not just jumping to jump. We are intentional. So with every punch, we're punching and we're tapping, engaging that core. Good. So strong. Woo. Keep breathing through it. We're at 30 seconds. Keep pushing. We're actually a little bit past 30. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good, good, good. Okay, external rotations. We're gonna work some shoulders. So, start out light, um, light to medium, because we're gonna be holding this bicep curl position and doing external rotations. So, same thing as those bicep curls, tuck that pelvis. We're gonna start in this 90, 90 degree position, and we're just gonna keep those elbows tucked and open up those arms. Come back together, open. We're gonna go 10 to 15 here. Guys, we're really working those shoulders. You should feel this in your deltoid. I'll show you what that is after I drop these weights. But you should feel it kind of where you feel that you see that cup of the shoulder muscle. You should feel that in the outside of the arm, right below the shoulder. Good, I'm gonna go for three, two, one and rest shape that out so the deltoid is your shoulder um, you should feel it right here at the base like almost scooping around that shoulder we're gonna feel it in those biceps at the beginning but as we externally rotate we really want to activate the outside of this arm so just play around with that if you did not feel it there that's okay we're gonna have plenty of time to move that okay tricep press-ups not to be confused with a push-up a press up. We're going to go 12 to 15 here. So let's lay on our stomachs. Hands are going to be right next to our chest. Elbows are tucked in tight to our body. We're going to push through the pad of the hands, almost lifting the fingertips. So we're pushing those elbows down towards the floor. And from here, we're going to keep our body down on the ground, but we're going to press up through the pad of the hands and feel those triceps move. Good. So we're not coming all the way down. We're not coming all the way up. We're keeping those elbows bent. And we're not going to relax at the bottom. We're going to go 12 to 15. 8. 9 for me. 10. Oh my gosh, you got this. You should feel this in your triceps. I'm going to go for 3, 2, 1. And oh my gosh, rest. Amazing job. Did you feel that in your triceps? Or maybe you felt it in your shoulders. If you did, we just need to pull those shoulders down. And we need to really focus on pushing through the pad of that hand. Again, we'll have plenty more opportunities to master this. But really focusing on that tricep and that pad of the hand pushing us back up. Okay, reverse flies. So let's grab those weighted objects. We're going to stand it up. We're going to go 8 to 12. So hinging at the hips, shooting those hips back. Nice and flat back. Arms are just hanging, but we want those shoulder blades down and back. Like we're pulling those hip bones to our, or our shoulder blades to our hip bones. And we're going to do reverse flies. We're just going to pull those weights out to the side, squeezing those shoulder blades together. I don't want you pulling up here. We want to almost pull backwards slightly. Good. Backwards. 45 degree pull. 
really focusing on those lats, those shoulder blade muscles, pull up muscles. So this is strengthening those pull up muscles. Good, keep that core engaged, try not to round as we proceed. Keep that back nice and flat, I got three, two, one, and rest. Good, shake out those arms. And that's that first superset was challenging, but this second one is gonna be the killer. Okay, so now we know what we're doing. We know what we need to be focusing on. You're always welcome to just play around with it. Um, you might find different muscles are working. That doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. That might just mean certain muscles are taking over or you have weaker muscles in certain areas. So just moving, making sure you're staying intentional with that core, intentional with those shoulder blades down and back, and let your body do what it's doing, okay? Okay, Jack, punches. Are we ready? Let's start in five, four, three, two, and one. Good, just punch up. Again, if you have weights, that's totally fine. Add in some extra resistance for those shoulders. I don't think my shoulders need any extra resistance. Good, keep jumping. Again, if you need to do those tap outs, you can even get more punches in if we do the tap outs. But do what your body needs you to do. So strong. We've got 15 seconds left. Time flies when you're a rock star. Hang on. Good. Less than 10. Pick up that speed. Get the power from the core and those shoulders. Three, two, one. Rest. Woo. Yeah, let's definitely start the superset off with a heart rate elevated, right? Okay, external rotations. Let's get it. Grab those weights. Okay, we're gonna start in that bicep curl position or that hammer curl. 10 to 15, let's go. Open. Nice and slow and controlled. Don't let those hands slowly drop. We wanna keep them right here. Good. I think I sped up a little bit, let's slow down. As the fatigue sets in, we just wanna get it over with faster and rest. <sighs> okay, let's give those shoulders a little bit of a rest. Sometimes they're gonna take over in these tricep press ups. Now's our chance to really focus on those triceps. When we think about a muscle, our body automatically kind of focuses on that. So if you're thinking about your shoulders when we do press ups, your shoulders are probably gonna work a little bit more. So mind muscle connection, Focus on those triceps, and let's get some good tricep pump in here. So let's lay on the ground. Tuck those elbows in, and point those elbows towards the ground almost. Good, so we're nice and active. Open up that chest. 12 to 15, are we ready? And go, press through the pad of the hand, try to speed it up this time. Good. Oh my word. Yeah, there's the tricep burn. Oh, I got five more. Three, two, one. One bonus one just for fun. And rest. Oh, holy triceps. Okay, let's shake those out. Let's get one last set of those reverse flies and then we'll take a little rest. I'm gonna increase my weight on these. See how I do with that. Roll those shoulder blades down and back. Hinge at the hips, nice strong core. And fly, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Yes, good work. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go for three more. Hang in there, let those shoulder blades and rhomboids pull those weights. Good. How are your upper body muscles doing? You feel them? I know I do. Grab some water. 
slow leg heart rate down. Okay, one final superset of this, and then we will be done. Okay, we're gonna start with jack punches. I think I swallowed water a little bit wrong. <laughs> okay, jack punches, external rotations, tricep push-ups, press-ups, and reverse flies, and then we're done, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, we ready? Let's get it. 45 seconds, starting three, two, one, and go. Punch. Core engage the whole time. Tuck that pelvis. We're squeezing those glutes. So even without punching, I feel my core engage. And then I'm just gonna add that extra bonus core in there. Not to mention the shoulders. So strong. Yup. This is our last set, Rockstar. Hang in there. I know I'm getting tired too. We're in this together. We have 15 seconds. Slow down that impact if you need to, but keep moving. Punch. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Bonus booty in there. Woo. Okay, let's slow down that heart rate. Inhale, exhale. Give me one more and we'll go into those external rotations. Amazing work. Okay, let's get it. External rotations, pull into that bicep curl position, tuck that pelvis, nice strong foundation, and externally rotate. Yes, nice and slow. Let's make this our slowest round yet. Feel the burn, embrace it. Keep that 90 degree angle. I know it burns, we're almost there. I'm gonna go for three more. Last one, and rest. Woo, so good. Okay, tricep press ups. We're gonna go for those 15. If you haven't been already, let's go for 15. We're gonna really focus on pressing through the pad of those hands, and we're gonna speed it up a little bit and go a little bit higher. So we're not locking out, but we are going up a little bit higher and coming down a little bit lower without resting at the bottom. Whew, I know, it's a long list of to-dos, but we can do it. Okay, on our stomachs, elbows in, hands pressed into the floor. When you're ready, Let's go, let's go for 15. Keep constant pressure in the pad of those hands. Keep those elbows tight to the body and pull those shoulders away from the ears. Yes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh. I love those. Those probably are one of my favorite tricep moves ever because you're in control of how much it burns. <laughs> okay, let's shake those out. One last set of reverse flies. <sighs> Ready? And let's go. Let's hinge at the hips, shoot those hips back, brace that core. Nice flat back, belly button sucked in. And let's fly. Good. Gaze is neutral. Slowing it down as we come forward. Try not to just let it fall because then our weight is going to pull forward. Puts a lot of tension on the back. Yes. Keep pushing. I'm going to go for four more. Oh, my word. One last one. And a rest. Woo. So, so good. I'm so proud of you. Shall we do one last little finisher? Shall we do it? I just thought of it in this moment and I think it sounds like a great idea. So we're gonna just burn out those shoulders really quick. So grab some light to medium weight. 
We're gonna do just a 45 second burner and we're gonna start in five seconds. We're gonna pull those weights up to our shoulders and we're gonna alternate pressing. Bringing that weight just down to our shoulders and then pressing right back up. Good, gaze is neutral. Punch that head through at the top. Don't just press out here. We wanna press straight up. Full extension in those shoulders. I know, I know it burns. Stay strong, make those movements nice and quality. If at any point it gets too heavy, just drop the weights and keep moving the arms, I promise. It will be just as effective. Five seconds, four, three, two. I gotta finish the other rep and rest. Oh my gosh, okay, now we're done. Thank you for doing that with me. Let's take some recovery breaths and stretch out those muscles. Big inhale through the nose, out through the mouth. Good, and switch sides. Big inhale, big exhale. So, so proud of you. I don't know about your muscles, but my muscles need some TLC after that. My biceps, bring those palms facing the ground, stretch the front of that arm. Good, and stretch. Okay, let's go ahead and bend down, touch those toes, grab those elbows and just swing from side to side, just getting through that whole body. Okay, let's roll ourselves back up one vertebra at a time and come to standing. Amazing job, so proud of you. Thank you for showing up with me. Let me know how you like this. I'd love to hear from you. You are a rock star and I will see you later.